Okay. I've released the hoggets and the two black half breeds. Now it's these guys' turn. I'm gonna try something new this year and bring the yos in at night and let them out to grass during the day. And hopefully that will, um, hopefully they won't eat all the grass they're meant to have when they're, uh, when they have their lambs. Oh, this is stuck. Okay, I need two hands for this. Hold on, ladies. Okay, out you go. Okay, they're all out. Now I'm gonna let the alpaca out. Hey, ladies. Yes, I'm gonna let you out. Go on. Dun 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 Okay. Now, come on, miss. She's got a big udder, so she'll be lambing. She'll be maybe one of the early ones to lamb. Okay, ladies, come on. Yeah. They all think they're going over there for grass. Come on, ladies. Woo! Come on. <laughs> Little bit doesn't miss a trick. Ooh, neither does Oreo Bloom. Oreo Bloom knows what this means. Come on, girls. Woo! Come on. Woo! Come on, girls. Come on. Come on, girls. Just gonna let them graze. They're all here now. Three alpaca and better count the yes. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 yes. 19 and 20 are in the uh, old garden. I'm just gonna let them do a bit of grazing here before the gate at the bottom is open so they can go at it. But may as well let them do some mowing here around the young trees. Isn't that right, puppers? This will be so good for them because there's lots of daisies and dandelions and yarrow and all celandine and all kinds of things of herbs for them to eat, as well as several different kinds of grasses. So they'll have a huge, delicious, diverse mixture of uh, herbs, legumes. The clovers are already coming up. So. Let's see what's here. This is celandine. And a lot of this is uh, what people call coxfoot or orchard grass. You can see they've taken a big chunk. Look at that big bite of grass right there. She's eating some celandine. That's ear feather. Eating more celandine. Oh, eating some cow parsley. There's cow parsley there. There's a big cow parsley. Yum, 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 she says. Gracie joining her. Look, they're eating the cow parsley through the fence. Sheep love cow parsley. Loads of cow parsley. Oh, and grass. So she's eating a mixture. All these different flavors. Yum, 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 yum. A 
that's taking big mouthfuls of celandine and cow parsley. They're really chowing into the cow parsley here, loving it. Up, oh, some of the sheep have figured out the gates open and off. They're going. So loads of celandine because it's under the sheltered area and cow parsley. Here's, there is, um, that's cleavers. And let's see, there's clover and stuff further down. There's a bit of dock, which they'll eat because it hasn't been artificially fertilized. So it has a sweeter flavor, but it's high in tannins, which is really good. Are you gonna go down the hill? Follow everybody else. Come on, little bit. Come on, little bit. I know she doesn't want to go. There's some. Here's some wild herbs. Mmm, smells good. Then here you can see there's some clover. Here's some plantain. There's some plantain. Loads of plantain here, loads of clover, plantain, celandine. There's a lovely big dock. Come on, girl. Everybody else has gone out the gate except you. Come on. So I can close the gate. Because I don't trust them not pushing through that to get to the young shrubs. So there we go. They're happy out. Very happy out. Good girl. They will have a lovely day now. They've been waiting for this for ages. This is the first year I've lambed so late in years and years and years. God, I think about maybe 14 years. I haven't lambed this early. Uh, sorry, late in the spring. So I'm readjusting my management system and giving them fresh grass, but I want them inside for lambing at night so that I can see them, which makes life a lot easier. Look at you, you just don't want to stop. It's yum, yum, yum. Look at there's beautiful, there's some dandelions. One of the most nutritious herbs in the field. And there she goes. She's munching that dandelion. Look at that, eating every last bit of that dandelion. Very nutritious. The most nutritious herb in the field. Okay, come on. Let's go. Come on. Good girl. And that's closed. And then tonight I'll call them and bring them in. Just having a lovely munch munch. 